What up, good people? Welcome to Boxing Vibe TV, man. You know, number one of them coming, Boxing TV podcast or YouTube, whatever you want to call it. I'm Q. We got JD. We got Jay in the building. You know, what we need y'all to do real quick, man, is smash that damn like button real quick for us, man. Help us out, man. Show us some love, man. We most out here. Deaf, most you know deaf. Man? We out here. We out, we out here in these side streets trying to bring content to y'all boxing fans, man. You know what I'm saying? Showing love. Show us love back. Man, if y'all love boxing like, like we love boxing man y'all want to hear us talk on some of the hottest topics man y'all subscribe hit that like button hey, hey, hey. I'm just, uh, if y'all want the realest boxing takes most honest and, and no ass kissing and, and straightforward man. real boxing talk man y'all man. just go ahead and keep tuning in and subscribe man, man get, uh, you some, get you some get you some plies and tighten that ass up man get you, get you most most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah, hit, 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 hit the, the ring. notification man. ring all that shit, man. But anyway, we we got we we got a topic today, man. You know, we on our international vibe. You feel me? We caught we, the uh, pun? Man, we caught the pun, man. We got we got we got Philip Bowles, man. Philip Bowles and and it's Akeem Brown, you feel me? Okay. And, All right. And and, and and they were fighting for the they fighting for the, the British Commonwealth belt. You know what I'm saying? British Commonwealth. The, the British Commonwealth belt, man. And so my man, my man. Philip Bowles was chasing history over there, over there, over there across the pond. You know what I'm saying? He will be the oldest at 36 to win, win the British super lightweight belt if he if he was to win the fight. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we'll 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 get on to the results and everything. Talk about that. You know how it went down. But that's what that's what we got. You know. And uh, Jay, you wanna you wanna you wanna go ahead and speak on how the fight went down, brother? I I go ahead, man. Yeah, it's the British and and the Commonwealth belt. I think um. Uh, uh, Philip Bowles was trying to. He came in as a Commonwealth champ, and uh, I think it was for the vacant um, British champ. <clears throat> but even before that, man, right. I guess I don't know how to view it because I, I won't lie to you. I wasn't familiar with a lot of fighters from the undercard. Um, but they were all KOs. So I mean, you got you, you got it had a variety. You had some people throwing the towel. Uh, I think I believe the light heavyweight fight. Um, uh, Zeus won that fight. And he just ended up battering the guy. It was a pretty good matchup. He kept his uh, undefeated record. And then uh, the, the fights before that, there was a one dude got knocked sleep. Another one was the ref. So it was a – there was action. Um, it could have been a result of people over, uh, being overmatched, mm. more than likely. But it, it, it was entertaining. And leading into the main event um, – Usually when you get to that point, you usually see more evenly matched um, opponents, which is which what, what it was. Um, one thing, I only thing my takeaway from the fight is, yeah, two good fighters, um, not great um, as far as a worldwide stage. I'm pretty sure they're right. great uh, right. British fighters. But <clears throat> one thing I, I will say is that Phillips, uh, Philip Bowes, man, he, he – Looking at it, if you're just looking at how they came out, body physique and the way they throw punches, you would figure Bose would have the upper hand, but he was short. He was short on his punches all night. Even though they were the clean and crisp punches, he was alligator arm his punches. And I think um, with uh, Akeem, Akeem uh, Brown, he, his, he was awkward. He oh was <laughs> busy, awkward. He oh was busy, punching off the wrong foot. Um, just kind of giving different angles, lean, <laughs> lean with his hands below his waist, um, but right. still able to maintain, still be elusive, and really keep busy. And um, it was it, it, it was a back and forth fight. I, I'll say, um, I don't know if they'll make it over to the states to any rev right. re relevance, but they are fighters, especially um, I think it's uh, Ennis Brown. He's uh, Akeem. I think he's uh, twelve and zero at this point, so he still has a lot to learn. And, uh, right. You know he can get better from it. He, is, he has a very awkward style, and I think if he can yeah. clean up his defense, he might be able to make some noise. So all, all around that afternoon of boxing over here in the states, and uh, I guess a, a great one over at, at night in the UK. Yeah. No definitely, bro. Yeah, man. From what from what I was able to catch, man, I, I agree with you uh, wholeheartedly, Jay. From what I saw, it, it, it appeared like Philip. You know, was trying to uh, hit him with that one punch. You know, he he was throwing a lot of right. you know, he literally trying to get him with that one punch, and 
Uh shoot. Akeem just he just too too awkward, too shifty, too too much of an active body, man. He was busy, busy as can be. Uh it, it was entertaining, man. It was it was a pretty good fight. Uh like you said, I, I can't complain about you know, some some Wednesday boxing, albeit, you know, for us it was at what about four o'clock, five o'clock in the afternoon. But um Overall, yeah. it was, it was uh, some some good boxing for us over here in the states, man. To uh, to give us some exposure to, you know, hopefully maybe some some top uh, names that be that could be coming from across the pond over here to the U.S. to maybe challenge some of these uh, these lightweight. Because as we all know, that the, the lightweight division um, is hella stacked. We all know you know how that division is. Right. So, well, so actually. Uh, actually right. That's the funny thing I had to look at. Their their super lightweight is our junior welterweight. So he was they were fighting at 140. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So so yeah. it. I mean, theoretically, it still maybe you know, come it, down. I mean, for it, some, it's, either way, this on wiggle room in there. Better. Brown keeps getting better. I mean, it's it's a name to look out for, um, especially stateside. Uh, in the Walter and uh, junior welterweight division, since it's been vacated by, you know, Bud Crawford, and it's really all the actions at 147. So um, there's definitely some room for him to grow and slip in the rankings in the top 10 worldwide. So it'll be something to look out for. But he he he's he has a, he he can be sloppy. The funny thing about that, just to provide a little bit more context to what I was seeing, man, he was really good at looking available to be hit. Yeah. But he was so active that by the time you know Phillips was getting ready, uh, uh, Philip was getting ready to kind of attack. Shifty as fuck. Yeah, shifty. he was shifty, punching at awkward angles, and so so wow. and, and he, he had it looked like his toes, and but he was <laughs> he was all over the place. He was all over I, the place. But but he was he looked to be the bigger puncher, even though it looked like Bowes might have had more snap. Right. Right. He looked to be the bigger puncher because he was backing Bowles up, especially the second half of the fight. Right. And Bowles caught him with some with some nice hooks, man. Some yeah, nice yeah, short yeah, ones, yeah, man. Yeah. 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 But, but I mean, I think Bowles twenty he twenty he twenty three with three KOs. My man got twelve, twelve and old, he got one KO. Neither one of them, neither one of them punches. Man. Got power. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And if you know he was dealing with somebody that that, that, that had some hand, you know, some some that could really, you know. It, it could have been a whole different fight, but you know he, my man didn't have enough for him, man, and so he was he was all over him all night. You know what I'm saying? For what I saw, my main thing was I watched in the beginning of the fight. I'm like, man, I don't know, I don't know if he's gonna be able to keep this shit up at this pace. And this man did this shit for 12 rounds. I mean, rounds, yeah. crazy. His footwork was it was crazy. Like he was all like so shifted. Like you can't. It was mm-hmm. it was weird, but you could. I mean, my man, my my man did time him. He called him. He called him at certain times with some nice punches that that should have. You know, but he ain't had a power, and it was just like he, it, it, he, he ain't had a power, and then it, and then he, he, threw, he only threw like one or two. He didn't, he, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't put it all together. Like he right. couldn't really, you know. And he was so in because he was short on. You know, he wasn't really mm-hmm. stepping into right. the punch. He wanted, yeah, he wasn't extending. extending yeah, he wasn't fully extending. You know, he was playing it safe, and then he spent a lot of time on the ropes, which you know, ultimately, when you're fighting a guy who's you know volume punching. And more active, you know, you're gonna get the decision that you got. You know, you're gonna be on the other side of the unanimous decision. Which yeah. I will say too, man, and maybe uh depends on the ref. Uh that's just, this doesn't really happen too much stateside, especially in like championship fights. I really mm-hmm. didn't like that ref taking a point away from bowls from holding. What was that fight. what was that for? He, he, did, was for he, he did some like pulling motion. Well I I didn't get, I know it, it was 10 eight rounds, but what, he, gave, what happened? he gave him a warning about holding. And they were really both, you know, because it was a sloppy fight at times. They were both holding, struck, getting in position. Right. I, I, right. I didn't really appreciate the ref doing that. That kind of, it kind of, in a fight that you felt like it was tilting. It's, especially in close, away, right. Like, yeah, it felt like yeah. that was unnecessary. And it really tilted the fight to where, you know, it picked up the pace where you saw Bowes actually, you know, connect with bigger punches. Mm-hmm. But I feel like it was a disservice to Bowes because they were both grappling and looking for position. So they were both cut, both bleeding, both active. So right. I, I don't really see the 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 really benefit of doing that, unless you just want to interject yourself into the fight. Yeah, 
I mean, shit, it was a hell of a fight, yeah, though, man. Yeah, shit, I, I can't you know, complain, shout, man. Yeah, man. Shout out, shout out to all the contestants, man. And shout out, definitely shout out to the, the, the King Man Brown. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Champ, you feel me? And, and Philip yeah. Bowles, man. You Most feel me? Def. You know, and, and, and I mean, it, it was it was a good showcase, man, to keep it a buck with you, man. Straight up. Yep. I didn't get to I get to see. Wealth champ. A king. Most def. Right. Prince, Prince right. King. Yeah. Let me say, hey. a king. And it's brown. Congrats to you, sir. Already, baby. Yeah. All Always. right. Most stuff. But anyway, man, that wraps up. That wraps up this uh, episode of uh Box and Vibe TV podcast, man. You know, once again, man, y'all need to hit them down, smash the smash button, smash the like button, smash any damn button that you see. They got a they got they got the thumbs up on it, smash the fuck out of it. Crack your screen, they got you. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And my, my man, that is a contingency plan that they can't get you. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, sir. At the end of the day, uh, that's how we gonna rock it, man. All right. Subscribe and do all that type of shit, man. Fuck Boston Vibe TV, man. Get hey, with it, man. when you subscribe get- and when you hit the like, we need your comments too, man. Let us know we on the right. Talk to us. And talk that- to us, man. We'll take we'll take whatever you got, man. Cause we ain't going nowhere. I mean, mm-hmm. you don't have to get used to us. And it's better to, it's better to go and get with us earlier, like these damn stocks and one of these penny stocks. Get with <laughs> us, man. And we're gonna pay dividends later. And you're gonna be you're gonna be able to say, man, you're gonna be screenshotting your comments from way back now, way back in the, to the future. Like, man, see, I was all in that shit back then. They're like, I was fucking with Y'all Has, was fucking hashtag with Apple and Tesla, gonna, huh? <laughs> Yeah, oh, Apple, Tesla, man, it's a lot more shit, man. But that's mm-hmm. you know that we gonna keep it right there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, yeah, man, peace, man. Hope Let's, everybody good. Love peace. y'all. Bye, bye, TV, man. Salute. We got.